Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. As you can see, smoke tail lights are here and they're installed. And that was uh, that was a bit of a challenge, honestly, which probably shouldn't have been. So, for those of you that haven't seen the unboxing short that I did on them, um, these tail lights are I bought off of eBay. I know, but I bought them off of eBay. Uh, I think I've got a hundred bucks and them shipped to me from Japan, uh, which is interesting because I'll show you something kind of cool. Some of you might geek out over this. I mean, I know it came from Japan. You would expect this, but this is all in Japanese, <laughs> which is kind of cool. The receipt and everything for it. So I thought that was neat. Um, where to start? We are uh, we are rolling here, guys. We've, we've got a lot of stuff ordered. Um, you know, it, it's it's trying to keep everything straight and not miss anything so that nothing holds the train up. You know, uh, is not not easy. And like, for example, we'll start with these tail lights. Bought them off of eBay. It took two and a half weeks to get here. They were packaged good. Showed up uh, U.S. Postal Service. No issues. Had the tracking number. The whole deal worked out exactly like I expected it to. Great. Uh, challenges. Uh, so these, they do not come with bulbs. And they do not come with the wiring harness. Okay. So my wiring harnesses are, you know, terrible. These are the, this is the only tail light I've ever seen on the car. And I've never seen it with tail light lenses, so that's, you know. But this is my, my harness on my Hella tail light deals here. Um, they're crusty and nasty, and every time I turn them over, tons of stuff dumps out of them because they were sat in the dirt forever. Um, which is why we bought these. And I wanted smoke tail lights. I was either wanted to buy a set of smoke tail lights or to smoke a set of tail lights, one, one way or another. And uh, I couldn't be happier with the way it physically looks. It might not be the best quality, but it looks good. Um, I think I've got it together right. Um, some things to look for if you're going to buy these. Um, and you might not run into the same thing that I ran into at eBay stuff um, these four holes were fine on the lens but on the actual housing there was stuff in them so we had to drill them out just to get the screws to go in to put the lenses on and I was on both of them so a little bit of work a little scary because you're worried about cracking the lenses and doing all the things but um, otherwise works good um, something else of note on the tail lights uh, the bolts where the housing mounts to the car uh, it does not come with those so you have to go pick those up um, I don't remember what they are I think they're like M5 I think M5 uh, that's what we got so that fits perfect M5 M6 is too big M4 goes right through it's M5 and they sit just like the factory ones if you look at these these right here that's where they they lock in right so the actual head of the bolt sits in there so it doesn't spin same thing on the ebay ones which was remarkably helpful uh so long story short smoke tail lights now whole bunch of other stuff happened today um i ordered i've been talking to mike all day long uh, thingparts.com. Uh, we ordered the duck boards. 
uh, the tight style and the uh, for the rear we got the long where they go across instead of the bunch of little boards um, mahogany uh, stain to match my steering wheel okay and he has a guy in Texas that custom makes these they swear up and down they can get them to me so why not um, now the if you know anything about duck boards um, I guess you can just put the duck boards down but um, from what I understand of it they get a rubber mat floor mat basically that goes underneath them so they don't slide and all the things um, and you can either get them in solid black black with holes black with some holes and then there's something called a cocoa mat and they come in colors and they're kind of woven together right and so uh, Mike had a set that somebody ordered that they had messed up and uh, he had them sitting there that he's trying to get rid of that were black and red so we got black and red cocoa mats and then the mahogany teak uh, duck boards that are going to go over top of that. And we got the full set, so we got the floors, we got the back here, okay, and the one that goes in the front under the hood, okay. So that should look fantastic, I'm really excited about that. So we, we got that coming. Um, we also got the tail light wiring harnesses, um, new headlight rings for the front um, I got a bunch of wiring stuff that I was missing like uh, the headlight dimmer relay the emergency flasher relay the emergency flasher button or switch um, I didn't have that so most of the things I need to finish up the wiring and actually connect everything to is is on its way um, we've also got I'm actually getting texted right now Mike. That's Mike asking if I, uh, about my taillights I bought, whether they had the securing nuts in them or not, he was going to send me the nuts. I'm telling you, this guy's amazing. Um, I sent him a video of my taillights. I'm like, hey, this is what I got. This is what I'm missing. Help. <laughs> right. So, uh, why not go to the expert? I'm, I'm not proud, you know, <laughs> to do what we got to do to get this thing done. Um, so anyway we got all that coming so that's that's huge um also i have one one wrong dash panel the one that goes next to the speedometer uh between the speedometer and the glove box okay so towards the passenger side um i had the wrong one i had two of the driver side so he's sending me one of those um that might hold us up a little bit on putting the whole dash together but we're getting there um, we did uh, go ahead and um, prime the trunk lid today Ron's probably got half a day left on that before it's ready for paint um, so we're getting there um, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys uh, the heat down here really got us um, hell, even trying to prime today, uh, as fast as we did it, you know, it was 112 degrees is what it felt like with the humidity and the, you know, everything. We're doing it in the garage here, which is a little cooler. We got some air ducked in up here from the house, but it's not nowhere near enough. And, uh, so it's probably at least a hundred in the garage, you know, and, uh, you know, the, the primer was drying in the gun as fast as he was trying to spray it. So uh, we're learning how to deal with the heat down here. We're, we're, nor we're originally from Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. And uh, you know, where it is hotter than hell, but you don't, it's just different. And down here, it's, uh, the climate's just really different. So we're learning how to, how to deal with all that shit. So we, we're getting the deck lid fixed in the hood and uh, in the passenger door. So hopefully, um, what is tomorrow? Saturday, probably Sunday. Um, I would like to think that we're painting Sunday morning. At the latest Monday morning, if something goes wrong. Um, and then we can get all of that wet sanded and buffed onto the car and we're moving. Um, now tomorrow, be looking because tomorrow 
we have um, right about five thousand dollars worth of parts showing up. So everything I need, most of the things I need to finish this car are going to show up tomorrow. Um, some of it's not coming yet. Um, it'll that'll be here um, next week, like the windshield front or the windshield glass. Um, the sun visors, some of those things that had to come from other places. But uh, for the most part, we should have everything to put our steering column together. It's exciting, especially with that big, beautiful steering wheel in there. Um, so that should help. So there's that. There's a lot of parts coming, a lot of things going to happen. I'll do a big unboxing tomorrow with you guys. It, fuck, it might be an hour long video with as many boxes that are coming from UPS. But, uh, lots of stuff um you know and i'll kind of go over everything and i'll try to show you on installs and this that and the other like i do with most things on this and uh, we'll go through that so anyway guys that's what i got for you um lots of work happening you know it's just uh the heat right now is miserable uh, but the big thing that's holding us up right now is just waiting on parts to show up. Uh, Ron's got work for the rest of his life, but as far as me, on the assembly side of things, eh, I need parts. So, um, they're coming, and we'll get them tomorrow, and as soon as I get them, I'll start installing, and we'll, uh, we'll really push this thing over the finish line here. So, anyway guys, um, if you would, do us a favor. If you're watching these videos and you're not subscribed, can you hit the subscribe button for us? That would be incredibly useful and helpful for us. Um, it's free. Um, when we're done with this, you got the 40 Ford coming in. It's going to get painted wheels, Mustang or uh, power steering, and a turbo 350 automatic. And then it's going to the interior shop. I'm video of that. You got the Apache 58 Chevy Apache coming. You got a 65 Chevelle SS coming. That we're thinking we're going to put a 396 four-speed in. Um, and so on. So stay tuned. You might like it. You might not. I don't know. But if you're watching this, you're probably going to like it. You're probably a car person. So um, anyway, guys, um, please subscribe. Thanks for watching Browns Rod and Custom. And I am going to go eat dinner. I will see you tomorrow when all the parts get here and we will start uh, pumping out the content and putting this car together. Have a good one, guys.